Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This week we're off to Alberta to find out how to convert an oil field pump jack into a mini power plant. Canadian Control Works is an innovative little company based out of Edmonton, Alberta. They make the Enersaver, a device that creates electricity from the downswing of an oil field pump jack. Past President David Gray explains. When you look at a typical pump jack, it's lifting between one and two miles of rod string. Uh, so that's anywhere from five to ten tons of steel. And, and so how much electricity can you produce off of one of these? Uh, with a drive like this or a, a pump jack like this, I'd expect to be able to get about 10 kilowatts of power back out of it as it falls. And is that a lot of energy? Well, when you add it all up, uh, we're looking at about 300,000 tons of steel on pump jacks just like this, just in Alberta, let alone Saskatchewan, the rest of Canada or the United States. So when you add it all up, we might have the potential for uh, the equivalent of a coal-fired plant in Alberta just from pump jacks. Using off-the-shelf technologies borrowed from the worlds of solar and wind energy, Canadian Control Works brought the Enersaver to life. We went to their shop in Edmonton to understand how it works. So this is the first regenerative drive system that meets all of the standards for commercial electric generation. Basically the big breakthrough for us was in the ability to produce hospital grade power out of falling pump jacks. That we could take the energy that's naturally coming off of the electric motors, clean it up and put it back on the grid in such a way that the utility companies are happy to buy it. The original concept comes from, as Gray says, two Alberta farm boys who thumbed through solar and wind power inverter catalogs until they figured out how to make it work. The whole notion was started by our VP of Engineering and VP of Production, uh, Michael Osenko and Lauren Tilby, who had the idea that you could build a better mousetrap, that you could replace the braking resistors that commonly fail on a, a usual um, system for oil field with the ability to use the whole grid as your brake. So that was the genesis of it. They looked at technology from the wind and solar industry as the best uh, utility grade product to use in this and found that it fit very well. Uh, in fact, now we're in a partnership with the maker of that technology, uh, Santerno Inc., uh, part of the Carraro Group from Italy, uh, to help us mass manufacture this technology. Are these on just about every pump jack in Alberta now, or what, what's holding you up here? Well, we're working on it. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, some customers that will be starting to do major installations, Alberta, California, Texas, New Mexico. Alberta has um, it's taken some time for it to catch on, but people are starting to look at it and get it now that it is a good made in Alberta technology that's solving a real problem. Uh, it's solving it in a way that's reliable and uh, is you know, good enough for oil field service. It's durable enough, the, the equipment itself is meant to last a very long time, and it's all utility grade. To learn more about these pump jack power plants, head on down to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, I'm David Dodge.